Yeah, there we go, that's recording now. So, have you done anything like this before? Um, I've raced single seaters at uh, um, Silverstone. So um, have you actually raced them or was it an experience day? Oh yeah, it's an experience day, yeah. Right, okay. Um, but yeah, no, I haven't, I don't think I've done any, no, I haven't done anything like this. <coughs> right. Okie dokie. So the thing to remember with this is it's not on Silverstone, you haven't got gravel traps everywhere. There's mm -hmm. lots of barriers all right around here. This is the SL63 uh, AMG, 6.3 litre engine, it's um, about 520 brake horsepower, rear wheel drive um, on an automatic gearbox. It's, we can change those modes there, we can put it into sport mode and we can put it into manual mode as well when mm. we change gear on these panels just behind oh, right, the steering wheel. Okay, yeah. okay. We will have a go at that at some point when we're on the road courses. Mm. We're going to do two road courses, um, two wet grip areas and a dynamic area as well. Now, when I, when I'm on the road course, if I say to you more brake, more brake, squeeze that brake pedal harder, slow the car down a lot faster. Right. And if I say um, stop, bring the car to a complete stop as quickly and as safely as you can. Okay, just like an emergency stop. When we're on the wet grip areas, at some point I'm going to turn off the traction control, which is the ESP. The only reason we can do that is because we're in a secure environment. Don't try on your road car on the way home, basically. No, no, <laughs> what do you drive on the road? Um, BMW 3. Oh, okay, cool. Excellent. So, is that automatic manual? Uh, manual. Manual, okay. So your left leg's going to twitch a bit, but keep your motor to the left hand side. Not going to use that one at all. Mm. Just give the throttle panel a little blip there for me. Back onto the brake. Back onto the throttle. Back onto the brake. So you're happy you can find the brake pedal for me there every yeah, time. No yeah, no problem. Good. So hold the brake down for us. Just pop it into drive so it's all the way back on the gear stick. That's it. And oh yeah, nice and gently go around to the right end. Nice and slowly through the here though. Okay, so just stop in there for us. Just on the right hand side, there's a little lever, oh. you see? That's it, just pull him off. Sometimes they're set, sometimes they aren't. Just going to gently move away again. Yeah, from last I drove the Mercedes. <coughs> oh, some of the Mercedes have always traditionally gone with the old foot handbrake. Yeah, the exactly. Hand yeah. release, yeah. Because I drove um, the current um, C Class on holiday, and it was a great car. Mm, great yeah, engine, it was like a 220D. Yeah, yeah, they left here. Cars. Yeah, going to follow it around to the left hand side there. Keep your speed nice and low. We're going to come down to a little roundabout. We're going to go straight across the little roundabout. As you can see, these things are quite manageable at low speeds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now we're going to keep the speed to 30 miles an hour as we're coming up the access road here. Okay. The first little exercise we're going to do is we're going to, just going to show you how well the car soaks up the bumps. Now, you'd expect the car, because it's an, uh, an AMG, you'd yeah, expect yeah. it to be a little bit stiffer on the ride, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, at the moment, we're in comfort on the gearbox and on the suspension as well. Right. Okay. So comfort on the gearbox. What does it do to the gearbox? Oh, to it changes the, um, when it changes. Coming over to the left-hand side now, all the way up to the left, okay. and 30 miles now onto the middle of those uh, cobbles there. So it bumps up quite nicely, doesn't it? Yeah. So coming back over to the right. See the blue and white cone here on the left hand side? Yeah. We're going to stop with the nose of the car just at a level with that. You'll see two white lines on the floor, our front wheels will be on there for me, please. So let's stop right here. Yeah, it's just stopping there for us. Lovely. So, all the Mercedes have got a really, really good turning circle on them. Right. So, keep your foot on the brake, mm -hmm. turn the steering wheel to full right hand lock. So you're going to keep that lock on. We're going to do a complete circle around and then back here again. Okay. I'm going to show you how tight the side is. Oh, just, just come like off the brake and just gentle, okay. gentle power, just off a tick over. You're near enough to do it all by itself. And that's it, keeping that lock on. Pretty tight, isn't it? Yeah, very tight. That's what better than that might be <laughs> yeah, it's really tight. It, it's like milk flow. Yeah. <laughs> so what it does is when you, you go onto full lock, it actually leans one of the wheels into the arch. All right. It cambers it in to give you even more turning okay. circle on it. So we'll go around again, but then we're going to go back down that road we came from. Sure. Please. The same road, so just. Yeah, that one. That, this one here. This left bit or the right? Oh, the right one. Okay. So, and then we're going to turn first right, stop before the barrier on the left hand side for me, please. Which right here? Yeah, right there, and then stop just before the barrier on the left. Okay. So this is just our smaller road course here. Um, we're just going to have one lap around here, just to basically just get the car warmed up and yourself warmed mm. up. I'm not looking for any outright speed. What we're going to do is work on the position of the car. Okay. Mm. So we're going to keep in between the two white lines and onto the left there for us. <coughs> That's good. So the first corner is going to go around to the right-hand side. You're always looking through the corner. Over to the right, that's good. 
<coughs> right, the car come all the way over to the left hand side, aiming at that orange cone on the left there. A little bit more power there. Now tight to the corner, a little later you need to turn in for it. So gentle brakes now, stay to the orange cone, off the brake, middle, back to the right, gentle power, we'll let the car come over to the left, aiming at that orange cone on the left there. Gentle brakes again, all the way to the orange cone, off the brake, middle, back to the right. Looking through the corner, picking your exit over to the left, back over to the right, stay to the right hand side. And that's good. Stay right, oh, okay. middle, now back to the left. Ah, okay. All over to the right. It's because it's a longer corner there. Yeah. You turn it back too so, quick, you're in too tight then. So later in first. Yeah. Back over to the right. Back over to the left hand side. Gentle brakes again. I'm just trying to straight line it. Stay to the left. It's good, middle, back to the right. It's good. Keep to the right hand side, that's good. Gentle brakes, over to the left hand side. And we're going to come left across the white line, through the barrier, and up to the edge of the road for me, please. Excellent, well done. So, as soon as we're clear, we're going to go down to the right hand side there for me. That one's just to get you warmed up, that one. On the left hand side of the road, so. <laughs> <laughs> you're normally driving in England, or are you? You're having a holiday, like. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're going to go right just after this shelter and yeah. we're going to stop before the barrier on the left hand side, please. So, just right here. And just going to stop before the white, two white lines, it's good. Excellent. Okay, so what we're going to do here, this is our larger road course, what we're going to do here, we're going to go and have a couple laps in comfort, then I'm going to flick into sport mode so you can feel the difference. Finally, I'm going to ask you to just stop by the blue barrier with a stop sign on it, and we're going to flick into manual, and we'll have a little go on the panel shifts. Okay, so, we're going to go into the left hand side there, looking clear, gently on the power, coming around to the left there, that's it, and once again, stay between two white lights. First corner is going to go to the right away, go. Coming to the right, now take a straight line all the way over to the left hand side, keep to the left, a little bit more power, stay to the left hand side, unwind the lock all the way to the right there, build the power back in again, keep building, keep building, that's good, and brake all the way to the orange cone, stay left, that's good, middle, back to the right hand side, good, aim at that cone on the, on the left hand side, gently build the power in, and you start to look through your corner, pick up the cone on the right here, gently build the power back in, keep building. Keep building the power, let the car run to the left. More power, keep going. More power, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. And brake. Braking, okay. Keep braking, off the brake. Middle, back to the right hand side. Gently squeeze the power back in again. A little bit more power. Feel it how it balances the car yeah, from yeah. there. Brake again. Stay left, keep to the left hand side. Gently on the power. Bring the car back over to the right. Stay right. <coughs> keep to the right hand side. Bring the car back to the left. It's good, gently build the power back in. Keep building, keep building, stay to the left. It's good, we'll roll off, flip right. Good, get your wheel straight, build the power back in again, keep building, brake again, in on the right. Come back over to the left, really keep nose trip. to the left. Yeah, it does. Stay left, keep nose left, keep left. Sounds great, doesn't it? Mm. Unwind the lock to the right, build the power back in, keep building, stay left, and brake. All the way to that orange cone, stay to the left hand side. Try to feel that brake pedal a little bit more. Back yeah. to the right. Over to the left, gently squeeze the power in, keep building the power, keep building, that's good. Middle, back to the right, keep building the power, keep building, keep building, stay left. Keep going, more power, keep going, keep going, more power, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, come off the brake. Good, much better, keep braking, off the brake, middle, back to the right, turn it there. Squeeze the power back in again, all the way to the left, brake again. Stay to the left hand side, keep left, keep left, keep left, middle, back to the right. Gently squeeze the power back in, roll off, stay right. Keep right, keep right, keep right, back oh. to the left now. Turn it left now. Good, gently squeeze the power on, good. Roll off, <coughs> flick right. Excellent, gently back onto the power, and brake again. Off the brake, in on the right. Back over to the left hand side, keep the car to the left. Try not to turn out and back in, because oh. it unbalances the car, yeah, yeah. transferring the weight. Squeeze the power back on, stay to the left, brake again, all the way to the orange cone, stay left, middle, back to the right. Unwind the lock towards the left and gently build the power back in. Keep building, keep building, keep building. Middle, back to the right hand side, keep building power, that's good. Back over to the left, keep building, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, down the brake. Keep braking, more brake, more, more, more. Off the brake, middle, back to the right, got turn it there a bit. Squeeze the power back in, stay left, brake again. 
off the brake, keep to the left hand side, keep left, keep left, keep left, move back, back to the right, change, squeeze the power back on, roll off, stay right, keep to the right, back over to the left, turn it more, good, change, squeeze the power back on, roll off the power, flip right. Okay, so I'm going to flick it to sport mode now. What it's going to do is going to liven the throttle paddle up. Okay. Yeah, and it's going to do a really nice one as it comes down the gearbox. Yeah. Plus, it's going to hold the gear a lot longer, back to the left, way too right. Oh, okay. There we go, just squeeze the power back in, all the way over to the right. Here's going to liven that throttle paddle up. It's going to hold that gear a lot longer, so it's going to be a lot smoother. Then. That's good, middle, back to the right. Unwind a lot to the left, gently build the power back in, keep building, keep building. Middle, back to the right, keep going on power, keep going, keep going, stay to the left, keep going. Gently squeeze the power back in, stay left, brake again, keep to the left hand side, stay left, that's good, keep left, middle, back to the right, gently squeeze the power back in, stay right, roll off, keep right, keep right, keep right, keep right, back to the left, that's it, too early going in, see how now it's pushing and coming out, roll off the power for me, come across that white line, up to the blue barrier with a stop sign on it for me please, uh, right here, yep, go straight on, up to the blue barrier with a stop sign on, just stop in there for me, <coughs> okay, so what we're going to do now, Gonna flick it into manual mode. So excuse me for so, reaching across. So just now we were on which mode? You that did was... comfort and you done sport. Right, okay. Sport was the last one that you did. Right, yeah. So manual, you're gonna change up on the one on the right, yeah. down on the one on the left. Okay. Listen to me for the gear changes. All you gotta do is pull them back to change gear, but be aware they do go around the steering wheel with you. Right, so if you okay. steer like Starsky and Hutch, you're always trying to find the paddles on it. Okay? Mm. So she puts them into first gear already for you, but away you go, look okay behind. That's good. Keep getting on the power, change up, <coughs> back over to the left, keep the nose to the left hand side, that's good, keep it left, keep left, keep left, keep left, unwind the lock to the right, build the power back in, keep building, keep building, keep building, that's good, back to the left, braking again all the way towards that orange cone, middle, gently coming back to the right, unwind the lock towards the left hand side, build the power back in, stay left, keep building, middle, back to the right, keep going on the power, change up, looking through the corner, picking your exit point up, nice, keep going. Keep going on the power, keep going, change up. Keep going on the power, keep going, brake. More brake, more, more, more. Off the brake, down one gear. Turn it there. Yeah, yeah, the two both at the same time. <laughs> You're too busy now, Yeah, it takes a lot of thinking. Yeah, change down one gear, stay to the left hand side. Middle, back to the right, gently back onto the power. Stay right. So you've got it in too tight again. Oh, okay. See, you've got to wait before you get on the power because otherwise the car just pushes out if you're yeah, too tight. Yeah. Stay in there, roll off the power, flip right. Get your wheel straight, gently squeeze the power back in again, brake again, in the right, back over to the left, straight left, 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 keep nosing, that's good, keep nosing, keep it in, keep it in, keep it in, keep it in, unwind the lock to the right, build the power back in, keep building, and brake, all the way to the orange cone, stay left, good, off the brake, middle, back to the right, good, aim at that orange cone to the left, gently on the power, always going to spin the wheels, squeeze the power in, back over to the right, good, let the car run up to the left, build the power in, change up, Back on the power. Did you feel how it tightens it up? Yeah, yeah. Brake again, down one gear. Good. Stay left. Gently back on the power. A little bit more power. It's good. Middle. Back over to the right. Stay right. Keep right, keep right, keep right, keep right, keep right, keep right. Now back to the left. Turn it more. Squeeze the power back in. Very good. Brilliant. Roll off the power for me. Come across the white line, through the barrier, and up to the edge of the road there for me, please. That last lap, brilliant. Very good. Cheers. <coughs> okay, right so, gonna, yep, that's perfect. Just stop me there and put you onto auto and box. We can go left and then first right through the blue cones there for me please. And we're gonna go right here through these blue cones. <coughs> and then into lane number one in between the two cones. So it's the furthest lane there for me. That's good. Excellent. Okay so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do an acceleration and braking exercise. Mm -hmm. Um, what I'm going to ask you to do is to accelerate away in a nice straight line, keep accelerating. When I say brake, hit the brake as hard as you can, bring the car to a stop as quick as you can. Sure. Okay? Because we're doing a braking exercise, I'm just going to ask you to do the pedal familiarisation again. So just give the throttle pedal a little blip. Back onto the brake, back onto the throttle, back onto the brake. So you're happy you can find the brake pedal from yep. every time. Yep, good. Keep the brake on, drop it into the drive. 
and accelerate away in a nice straight line. Keep accelerating. Acceleration, keep going. Yeah, keep going. More power, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. And brake, stand on it. Stand on it. Keep braking hard. Harder, 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 harder. Stand on it. Excellent. Well okay. done. So, stops you really quickly, doesn't it? That's cool. Accelerates quick, but yeah. stops really quick as well. But big old discs. It's really discs good. And, um, you can feel the, um, what do they call ABS, it? The yeah. ABS really works. Really my car's got it. But if, I think the way designed on my car's not too good because it makes it really loose, whereas this one you've got to constantly Yeah, you, you feel the like pressure through the brake. Yeah, yeah. So we're just going to go down to the end there for me, and then we're going to come back round down that side of the fence, sure. down the road there for you, please. <coughs> it's got really big calipers and discs on it. Not down that one, down the other side oh, okay. of the fence. Yeah, really big calipers and discs on it. Stops really well, but you feel that ABS working all the time to mm. keep you um, keep you a nice straight line. <coughs> so we can go left again here through these blue cones for me. This time I'm going to go into lane number two, please. <coughs> Okay, so you see the three cones ahead of us there? Yeah. What we're going to do is we're going to do a um, brake and avoid exercise. So you can do 30 miles an hour maximum speed up towards those um, three cones. Yeah. When I say brake, I want you to brake, change lanes to the right hand side at the same time. So it's just as if somebody's run out in front of you. Okay? okay. So I'm going to call that brake really late. Right, so you go away from me. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I'm going straight to the blue cones. Straight to those blue cones. Right. Keep aiming at those blue cones. Yeah, yeah. No faster than 30 miles an hour. When I say brake, sure. hit the brake, change lanes to the right hand side. Sure. Away you go. So it's just holding it at 30. Brake, change lanes. Excellent. Well done. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Well done. So you see how you can break and change lanes at the same yeah, time yeah, with it. That's yeah? very good. Couldn't have left it much later, so you really have right on top of it before we, we break. Back on the outside road? Yeah, back on the outside road again for me please. <coughs> <coughs> we're gonna go back again through the blue cones and then we're gonna turn this time we're gonna turn right and line up behind that car that's already there. Sure. For me, please. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to do some braking exercises on a wet, greasy road. Mm. Okay, so we're going to do maximum speed 30 miles an hour. The speed is critical on here. So maximum speed of 30 into the middle of the wet group. When I say brake, hit that brake pedal as hard as you can. Bring the car to a stop as quick as you can. Okay, so I'm just going to um, pop the limiter on just as belt and braces. But don't count on the limiter because if you um, uh, kick the car down, it will push through through the limiter. Sure, sure. So you just gently build it up to 30. Because we're doing the braking last time for me, just give a throttle pedal a little blip there for us. Back onto the brake. Happy the brake pedal hasn't moved. <laughs> you can find it okay. Great. Pop it in the drive there for me. Right. Now I'm just going to pull up to that white um, square for us. So you're just going to stop there, lovely. This surface is basically like black ice, it's a special kind of paint mm. and um, when it's made wet it's just like black ice. So I was reading, um, or I saw some something that said that the um, there used to be a circuit around here, like an old one with the yeah. banking. With the banking? Yeah, this Brooklyn. Is that on this ground? Yeah, this is Brooklyn's basically. It's the oldest racetrack in the world. Oh, right. Wow. Um, built in 1907 by the local landowner, Lock King. Mm. He just decided that he wanted to build the first ever purpose racetrack. Mm. Um, it's 2.8 miles long. You can still see some of the banking over there, over wow. around the back of those trees. Oh, wow. Okay. And so that's going, where the train goes then? Yeah, yeah. The, the straight part oh, going down there used to be called Railway Straight. All oh, right. run past the train. But if you go into Brooklyn's Museum, they've still got Members Bridge, yeah. which is the steepest part where the car used to, the cars all used to funnel underneath the bridge. Right. It's that steep, you can't walk up it there. Wow. But yeah, oldest racetrack in the world here. I didn't know that. Yeah. So, what we're going to do is 30 miles an hour, maximum speed, 
into the middle of the wet grip when I say brake, yeah. hit the brake as far as you can. Back into You're in drive at the moment, so you're ready to go. Oh, okay. Away you go. And brake, hit as hard as you can. Stand on the brake, more brake. Stand on it like that. Right, okay. Otherwise we were just going to sail straight through. Right, right, right. Okay. <laughs> okay, so you needed to brake a little bit harder than that one. So we're just going to come to the end again for me, please. Okay. All the way through and up to those blue cones. So we'll try that again, this time really stand on that brake. Sure, okay. sure. Yeah, that's doing like a minute to stop time. Yeah. So those blue cones. Right. Yep, yeah, back up onto the right hand side there. And back through the blue cones into the white square again for me, please. Yeah, it's, it's so slippery, any faster than 30, even with all the best technology in the world, you yeah. just fly straight through. So we're going to go right again. Just stop in there for me. <laughs> okay, so 30 miles an hour again into the middle of the wet grip. So this time, when I say brake, nail the brake, right. make it stop as quick as you can. Okay, away right. you go. And brake, hit it as hard as you can, stand on it. Alright, keep braking hard, keep braking, keep braking, keep braking, keep braking, keep braking, keep braking. Eggs, nah, that's much better. Well done. So you see how it kept you nice and straight? Yeah. yeah Even yeah. though you really stood on that brake yeah. pedal, the system kept you nice and straight. So what's it doing at that point? It's basically moving the ABS or the braking around. So it, All four wheels? All four wheels. It's, it's braking as and when it needs it to yeah, keep yeah. you in a nice straight line. Wow, so it's got some sort of gyroscope thing. Yeah, it's very clever the way yeah. it works, which I'll show you again in a moment. But we're going to go to the end there, through the blue cones again. We've just got somebody waiting there. Feel that coming in, that's how yeah. slippery it is. Just coming off the power a little bit there. And up to the coast, there's one as well. Right, we're I also thought it would build up to 30 a lot quicker than it does, but I mean, I know obviously we're not in sport too, I haven't nailed the, the No, you're not nailing it so you're just it, gently building it it's up. It's really yeah. friendly, so just yeah, yeah. driving it around. It's very docile until yeah. you want it not to be docile, and yeah, then it's yeah. uh, you know, an animal. In a real animal, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Especially when you flick it in the sport, that character of the car really changes. Yeah. So we're just going to go into the white square again. Okay. So this time, what we're going to do is we're going to drive down to the left hand side following the fence down nice and gently and then we're going to um, when i ask you to slow the car down turn to the right so that the nose of the car i'm going to stop it just before the wet grip area so we're nice and straight right. so we're making a t-junction out of it basically mm. and i'll explain to you what we're going to do from there okay, okay. just then let the uh let it on go <coughs> okay so gently come down to the left there So coming off the power now, starting to slow the car down, turn to the right for me, and we're going to stop with our wheels nice and straight before the wet grip area. Lovely, just stop in there. Brilliant. Excellent. Okay, so what we've got now, we've got um, the scenarios, we've got a wet, greasy, horrible day. Mm. And this is our main road. We're turning out of the side road to the left here, onto mm. the main road. But you're late. All right. Huh. Mrs. is on the phone and you haven't oh, seen. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you've had that one. Yeah, yeah. One of that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Where are you, you at? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What are you doing now? <laughs> Busy. For the boys. <laughs> but you haven't yeah. seen that truck coming from the right hand side there. Yeah. All right. So you're going to use too much power. So we're going to gently roll out. When I say power, I want you to go hard on the power. When I say come off the power, come off the power. Mm. Just to make it a little bit more interesting, I'm going to turn. I'm going to turn off the traction control as well. Right. Okay. So away you go. Gently turn onto the left there. Nice and gently. Nice and gently. There's truck power. Off the power. 
and we got hit by the truck. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So it just shows you 520 brake horsepower, no traction control on a slippery road. Yeah. Misses on the phone, not concentrating. Easy for it to come around. Yeah, yeah. So we'll line up in the same position again for me, please. Let's come out and go around. Just go around there, yeah. Right, okay. Obviously, when, when, the, when the wife's on the phone, you're on hands-free anyway, of course. Yeah. But <laughs> And turn back in here for me. That's good. And gently moving forward, just a little bit further forward. That's it. A little bit of left hand like that. So I've turned the system, I've turned the system back on again now. Mm. Okay. So what I'd like you to do, lots of power as you do it. If the car starts to slide, just put a little bit of opposite locking. So just turn into it a little bit, mm. but keep your foot on the power. I want you to feel what the car does. Okay, okay there you go. Round to the left there. More power. Truck's a lot closer. More power. Okay. Well done. So you saved it. You turned into the slide. That was you that saved that. But did you also feel how the car came in to help you as well? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Took all the power away, yeah, didn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So we're going to come up to those two blue cones there for me. It almost felt like, you know that McLaren system where they they got that brake assist? I actually felt that, you know, yeah. it's working more on one side than the one other. One side than the other. It actually mm. does brake for you as well. Yeah. So we're just going to go straight across as long as we're nice and clear there. Yeah. I'm just going to come up to that barrier. Just going to stop there. Okay, just gonna come back a little bit just in case he needs to come off. Just coming back a touch, just come off the brake there. That's good, just gonna stop there. So I've popped in the park. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go onto the wet circle. I'm gonna turn the traction control off. Mm. We're gonna go onto the wet circle in between the two white lines. Um, keep your speed to roughly around about 10 miles an hour just under. When I say blip, boom, on the power. Back of the car's gonna slide, it's gonna come around to the left of my side. Turn into the slide. Excuse me, but you've got to come off the power at the same time because you've got no um, traction control there, no computer there to help mm. you this time. Okay, we're going to do a few of those exercises, then we're going to turn the system back on again so you can feel the difference, and finally we'll turn it back off again and we'll have a little go of drifting it round. Okay, now we're going to go that way because yep. he's going that way, so the back of the car is going to go to your side this time. Okay, okay. so pop it into drive there for me, okay. and we're going to roll on. Stop there for us because it comes coming around. Right. So, what, watching some of the power slides and people trying to power slide, it looks like a, I describe it to my wife as like a ballet dance. Like it's, very, it's a very fine yeah, thing to keep it's very good with so delicate edge. on the yeah, power. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good with those? Oh, um, yeah, not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> we'll gently, gently move forward and we'll go around to the right there for us. track so into the middle there yeah in between those two white lines that's it okay just keeping the speed there that's good so you're ready yeah. flip it turn into the slide that's good excellent bring it straight so flip it again turn in more turn in more oh. keep turning slippery isn't it yeah very slippery <laughs> so nice 370 well done <laughs> so staying in the middle again so when you get your hands to there yeah. you run out of lock yeah. take your bottom hand off pull that wheel back through again okay so you ready flip it Lock it in, lock it, lock, 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 lock. Oh, off yeah, the power, nice. that's it, off the power, and bring it straight. Off the power, you're going to come right round and you keep going on the power, right. bring it straight, cool, cool, there cool. we go. Oh, oh. There we go. bring it straight, brilliant. We'll have a little go at drifting in a bit, just try to get that, snap, that catch, oh, right, and, okay, uh, to catch it. Yeah, yeah the uh, catch first of all. Ready, blip, and blip again. Catch it, catch, oh, 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 take oh, your hand off, yeah. So I've got to be even more aggressive with the get a lot more locking. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've got to, okay. You got to feel it though, because it changes mm. all the time. The yeah, surface yeah. is always changing on you. So ready? And blip again. Lock it. Good. Well done. And blip again. Big blip. Lock it. Lock it. Lock it. Lock it. Lock it. Off the power. No, don't bring it straight too early. You're still in the slide. You brought it. You tried to bring it straight, and the car's still sliding. Yeah. So we're just going to turn the uh, system back on again. And you feel the difference now we've turned on. So try again now. Well, right, there you do it, right? No. no. Can you feel which wheel is braking on? It's actually braking inside. on the core. I think. Is it inside, front, or rear? Rear. Rear. Okay, what it's doing is actually braking your side front. Oh, right, okay. Because whatever wheel it tries to pivot around, it just momentarily just grabs it to stop you going all the way around. Right, right. It doesn't do anything with the rears because the rears are already sliding. We're just going to stop mm. there because he's spun. Yeah, because the rears are already sliding, it can't do anything more with them, so it just 
grabs that one on the front there, whichever one you're trying to pivot around, could have going this way around, it's that one. It just grabs it and stops you going all the way around with it. Right. You try it again, you just um, you'll feel it um, dip on that side. So ready? Flip it. Feel it dip? Yeah, a little yep. bit. Get off the power. Feel it dip down there. Yeah. Yep. Feel it straight? Good. Okay, so just gonna turn the system back off again. Okay, so we're going to have a little go at trying to drift it around. So you're going to blip it, mm. catch it, yeah. and it's just gentle, gentle power. And keep looking at that white line on the inside. Okay. There. Okay. So a little bit more road speed there, and blip, blip. Don't do it with the steering, just the power. Blip. Oh. Off the power. Lock it in. Lock in. Lock in more. Lock in more. Oh. Just need to get that lock so in a bit early, quicker. Yeah. That's right. Well, we've got nobody else on, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the left this time. We'll try that one. You might prefer this way. Cool. Everybody's brain's wired up a little bit different. They yeah. all prefer going one way, one way or the other. So, ready? Blip. Lock in, lock in, lock in, lock in. Good, ah. no, gentle power, gentle, gentle power. There you go, off the power, off. It's too much. Oh. <laughs> it's coming right around. It's really, really gentle. But you're <laughs> drifting there for a minute. That's yeah, good. yeah. Stay into the middle of it. Not too much speed. <clears throat> right. Keep it straight. That's it. And blip. Blip. Lock in, gentle power, a little bit more power. Have we got anybody waiting? Oh, that's that one. Don't bring it back to the right. Good. And blip it again. So what the, we've got Thank you Piers. So we're gonna come back in through the blue cones. And what I just, just quickly do is just give you a quick lap round, okay? Sure. Okay, cool and it's back in already in the one. So we go straight on. Just coming over to the left there. Now we just stop there for us. For a second. Okay, so we're just going to swap over and just give you a quick lap round just so you can feel what you want, what you're aiming at. Okay, you need a bit of squat. aggressive on the power that was all yeah, it was really yeah, that's i think that's the art because at first i was like oh right you do it by turning the steering well no it's just the power because that will get it going around in one direction or the other yeah and you really got to find where the throttle is you, you've got to steer it yeah. as we were saying you've got to steer it on on the throttle basically yeah. um you're not really you're not steering it with the steering wheel you don't want to be putting lots of lots of different mm. input in what you're doing is you, you you're getting frustrated and you're putting more and more power in yeah, yeah. more and more steering and the car's getting more and more unbalanced with mm -hmm. it then. Just give you a quick lap round just to show you, just do <coughs> <coughs> So we just blip it. Turn the system off, that'll be a good idea, it's true. A bit difficult to do it with it on. <laughs> So it's not very busy in here at all. Like no, you should go. Yeah, no. yeah. See how much little input I'm putting on the yeah, steering wheel. Yeah. It's just nice and gentle. So it's all on the throttle. All on the front. As long as I just keep looking at that white line, yeah. I'll stay within the circle as well. Right, right. But, but as you as you pointed out, hardly any steering going on there at all. Yeah, yeah. So just all being done with the, with, with the throttle pedal. You see how little amount of revs I'm using with it as well. It's just yeah, nice yeah. and gentle. It just started to come out of the circle a little bit there. So I just had to bring it back onto that white line. Just nice and gentle on the power. All done, all done with the throttle. Yeah. The, car, the car's not doing this, it's not, not yeah, moving yeah. on the suspension too much there. Just nice and gentle. 
you had it to begin with, and then as you got a little bit more frustrated with it, yeah, you started yeah. to load more and more power into it, yeah. and that's where it kept going around on you. So then we're going to bring it straight, pick it the other way. As it hits the tarmac, it really grips up. Yeah, yeah, it bites. There you go. So, did you enjoy that? Very much so. Yeah, good. Very much so. Stuart, Christine, we're on our way back to the building. Yeah, and this is the car as well, like SL. Well, I keep thinking SL500 AMG, but it's 63, so 6.3 litre. 6.3 litre. Yeah. Is that yeah. the biggest they do then for the yeah. SL? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's got the same engine as with the S. The SLS has got the same engine in it. Oh, right. okay. um, but, but what it um, is is that every AMG has got a slightly different state of tune on it. Right. Um, to give it the more power. Um, the C class is 480 brake horsepower. Okay. But it's a bit lighter car. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is this is 520, same as the E class, mm. um, but it's a little bit heavier car. Yeah. The, um, Wait, this is heavier than a than a what? Than the C class. All right. Okay. Yeah, it's a little bit heavier than the C class. And then you've got the new CLSs, mm. um, which are a 5.5 liter engine, so slightly smaller CC mm. um, on a, a twin turbo, so they're turbocharged. Is this one turbocharged? Uh, no, this one's not. This is normally aspirated, but this one's a V8. 